Hi boys and girls, tonight you're going to watch a video on distributing expression. Um, lesson 11 was about factoring expression, where you were taking forms like this and using the greatest common factor to create an equivalent expression. So I want to remind you we figured out the greatest common factor was 2, so that goes outside. And then we determined that it would be A plus B. Tonight's lesson is going to be taking this form and bringing it back to this way, which I think is much easier than what we did in Lesson 11. So first we need to review how to model this, because throughout the lesson you're going to be asked to model um, the distributive property. So first we're going to create a model to show 2 times 5. You guys remember doing tape diagram? 2 groups of 5. That would be the quickest way to do it. We could also create a model to show 2 times B which is also known as 2B, similar to what we did here, except instead of having two groups of 5, we're going to show two groups of B. So the first example is going to be writing an expression that is equivalent to 2 parentheses A plus B. So first we're going to create a model that represents A plus B. It doesn't matter how big you make A or B, because we don't know the value of A or B. Okay, so right here is a tape diagram that shows a plus b. The expression 2 times a plus b tells that we would have 2 of the a plus b. So we could create a model that shows two groups of a plus b. And I'm going to draw an identical one to show two groups. So this is a plus b, and here's another a plus b. So how many A's and how many B's do you see in the diagram? We see two A's and two B's in this tape diagram. Okay, so you probably could have done that without any assistance. If you take a look at the next question, how would the model look if we group together the A's, then group together the B's? So they're asking is if we put the two A's together and the two B's together. So if I took my two A's and put them in the front instead, and then I group my two B's together. This is how it would look. What expression could you create to represent the new diagram? Well, we have 2A plus 2B. What conclusion can we draw from the models about equivalent expression? Well, we just discovered on the other side, two groups of A plus B is equivalent to 2A plus 2B. Now we can prove that by making up a number for the variable. So let's say a equals 3 and b equals 4. So what that means is we're going to substitute 3 for a and 4 for b for both these expressions. If they're equivalent, they should share the same value. So instead we're going to do 2 parentheses, a is 3 and b is 4. Here, 2 times 3 plus 2 times 4. Now use the order of operation to solve it. Parentheses first, 2 times 7, which is 14. Over here, we do multiplication first. We can do them at the same time. It's 2 times 3 is 6, plus 2 times 4 is 8, which is 14. So we get the same value. What happens when we double A plus B? Well, we would end up doubling A and B. So in other words, when we have an expression like this, all you have to do is double both A and B to get 2A plus 2B. Write an expression that is equivalent to double 3X plus 4Y. So what we could do is we're going to have two of these. So your expression can be 2 times 3X plus 4Y. How can we rewrite that here? And I just did that for you here. Okay, so... Double is the same as multiplying by 2. In this the next expression, we can use an expanded form. A distribution in factor form, expanded form, or neither. The first expression right here is called the factor form. Is the factor form where the greatest common factor is outside of the parentheses. The next expression, I could expand this by doubling both 
the 3x and the 4y. So we could do 2 times 3x plus 2 times 4y. That would be the expanded form. So 2 times 3x is 6x plus 2 times 4y is 8y. So both these expressions are equivalent. This is a factor form. This is the expanded form. We can make a model to show this. By showing 3x and 4y. And then we can change that model by doubling it by drawing two of them. And I'll do my best to make my 3x is the same and my 4y is the same. Are these terms that we can combine, are there terms that we can combine in the next example? Yes. How many x's are there? There are 6 x's and 8 y's. So we can make group them by putting my 3 x's together and then my four y's together. This would be six x and this would be eight y. So I'd have six x plus four y. What is the equivalent expression that we can use to represent? Two times, we just did it, six x plus, and that should be not eight, four y, it should be eight y, sorry. Hopefully you caught that. 6x plus 8y. Summarize how you would solve this question without the model. When there's a number outside, outside of parentheses, I would multiply It by all the term in side. So what does that mean? So if I have 2 times 3x plus 4y, what I'm saying is you take the number outside, you multiply the terms inside the parentheses both by 2. So I would do 2 times 3x plus 2 times 4y. which equals 6x plus 8y. Now we have my favorite approach, which is the area model. What factor dispersion is represented in this model? So to find the area, do you guys remember how to find the area of a rectangle? It's always length times width. So when you look at this, we have a length of y times, what's your width going to be? 4x plus so this is just another approach to how you can see distributive property. So one way we could find the area of this by using the expanded form is find the area of this rectangle. How would you find the area of this rectangle? Well, your expression would be y times 4x. How would you find the area of this rectangle? It would be y times 5. To find the total area, you would add these together. So your expanded form expression would be the two areas added together, y times 4x plus y times 5 which is equal to 4xy plus 5y. Now we can write an ex expression in expanded form that is equivalent to 3 times 7d plus 4e. So we could do that using um, what I just explained to you, that you multiply both turned inside the parentheses by whatever is outside. So we're going to rewrite this as 3 times 7d plus 3 times 4e. 3 times 7 is 21d plus 3 times 4 is 12e. We could use the area model approach again to show how that's related. So we had 3 on this side, 7d plus 4e. 
The expanded form would be if I were to find the area of these two rectangles, then add them together. So to find the area of this rectangle, you do 3 times 7D, plus the area of this rectangle, which is 3 times 4E, which is essentially what we would get here. Find the area of this rectangle, which is 21D, plus the area of this rectangle, which is 12E. So this is how we could do the model. Tomorrow we're going to do the exercises in class. We'll talk about a little bit of the notes that you did, but I'm hoping that we can go ahead and do the exercises in class without too much note taking. Thank you very much.